Hello all, today we are going to solve a uh, question paper from AQA, uh, GCSE Mathematics Foundation Tier, Paper 1, Non-Calculator. This one, Paper 1, is a non-calculator. You don't have, it's not allowed to use uh, your calculator in this paper. Okay. Uh, question number 1 here. which type of angle is the largest circle your answer we know that right uh, uh, right angle here is no more than 90 degree reflects a greater more than uh, 100 more than 180 less than 360 degree here obtuse greater than 90 less than 80 180 degree acute angle between zero and one degree and one uh, and ninety degree. So uh, the largest one is a reflex reflex angle. Like this is reflex angle. This is we call it a reflex angle. Uh, question two: uh, Solve four x equal eight. This is a one step equation, so you need one step to solve it. What's a number if you multiply it? by 4 you will get 8 it's a clear is 2 so x equal 2 once we said one step equation that's mean you need one step to solve this equation we know that uh, between 4 and x uh, it's a multiplication that's mean 4 times x uh, opposite operation of a multiplication is a division so you have to divide both sides by 4 dividing both sides by 4 you will get x equal 8 over 4 which is equal to 2 so x equal to uh, question number 3 work out 10 plus minus 4 10 uh, plus minus 4 here uh, here we could we can rewrite it 10 plus minus because they are close to each other you can change them to be minus because uh, because positive times my uh, negative is a negative so 10 minus 4 which is equal 6 a question 4 here circle the calculation which works out half of a 12 half of, of a 12 of a 12 it's it's uh, it's easy uh, out half half it means 1 over 2 of means multiplication a 12 so this one here because uh, half times 12 or 12 times half uh, equal to each other because multiplication is a commutative a uh, 3 times 2 equals 6 2 times 3 equals 6 so it's the same and as in here question 5 work out and please don't forget oh, sorry uh, question 5 here work out a three hundred sixty four point five plus seventeen point nine. So we are lining up decimal point, so decimal point under decimal point here, decimal point under decimal point, and uh, each place ones tens hundreds uh, tens uh, uh, hundred hundreds and so on so here we have the nine under the tens place so we are adding them five plus nine fourteen four and one up five plus uh, five plus seven a twelve two and one up one plus six seven plus one eight three plus zero a three so decimal point under decimal point as we said before so this is the our answer here now we need to subtract it by 2.80 so we will take this answer here as we did before we have to line up the decimal point so here we have a decimal point for the first number this is the decimal point for the second number here so we will write now a number here a 382 decimal point 
four then second number here zero and tenths place eight hundredths place so two and ones now subtract the empty spaces you could write zero so zero zero here and zero here zero minus I minus eight on principle we have to take four, uh, one from four so here is a three here is a ten ten minus eight is two three minus zero three now decimal point and then decimal point two minus two is zero eight minus zero eight three minus zero three so this is our answer and you should write it in the provided space you should write it here three eight zero your decimal point should be clear three two work out 9.336 times 2 so uh, we will multiply it normally uh, uh, column multiplication so 9 36 times 2 2 times 6 is 12 2 and 1 up 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 7 2 times 9 18 we have two decimal places here our decimal place stand at the right here so move it two places one two so the new place the new place will be here so the answer is 18.72 question six now here a question six five points are plotted on a cent uh, centimeter grid uh, the points are part of the of the vertices of a hexagon. Each side of hexagon has the same length. Uh, same length it means a regular hexagon. That means all sides are equal and all angles are equal in size. Work out one possible pair of coordinates of the other vertex. So you can work it as follows. Here. So we have distance here one, two. 3, 4, and 5. So here we have 5. Also, here we should have 5. So now from here, from this point here to this point here, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have to move the same from this point here 1, 2, 3, and up 4 steps 1, 2, 3, 4. It will be here so now you can connect these points you have to use your ruler actually it's important to use your ruler it's important and in this case here you should mention that the point here is no more than 2 x axis and 5 y axis so the point down, write it, 2 and 5, 2 and 5. Annie and uh, Brad each have some money. Carly has no money, so Carly has zero money. Annie gives 7 to Carly, Brad gives 5 to Carly. Now they all have the same amount of money. They have same amount of money. That means Carly now has seven pound plus five pound, so he has a twelve pound now. Uh, now, how much money did Amy have to begin with? So here she should begin with seven because she gave uh, seven pounds. She gave seven pounds and all now they have a 12 a 12 so 7 plus a 12 pounds equal to 19 pounds you have to write your answer here 19 pounds so uh, after they gave 7 pound and 5 pounds Carly uh, has uh, 12 pounds here so now they say that now they all have the same amount of money they have the same amount now Amy, Brad and Carly have 12, 12, 12 so how much money did Amy have to begin with? have to begin with 19 so 19 minus 7 is 12 